Hey everyone, how it's going? It's Nick and today we are creating this kind of powder painting effect where we will be sticking particles to the geometry and it should look like this. Alright, so I have my geometry, this is the ways from uh, Cinema 4D preset, like, library. Uh, it has a great geometry, because uh, majority of the particles will be, uh, like, clustering or sticking uh, on these ribs, so, uh, yeah, but uh, any, any geometry will work. Um, initially, I was I was thinking like doing this uh, with the school, so kind of like early Bill Ellis uh, works, but uh, um, it's it's not my style to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's let's just do this uh, with with these ways. Uh, all right, so uh, in in theory, we're uh, like briefly describing what we will be doing here. Uh, we will be creating the pyrosim and we will be driving our particles uh, with uh, this pyrosim and also uh, we will be uh, using uh, I think it was collision detect node or detect collision node um, yeah and basically yeah it, it detects collision uh, of the particles with the, the geometry and uh, we can choose uh, different um, like how how the particles uh, interact with the geometry when it collides. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. In our case, they will be sticking on the surface. All right, let's uh, go. All right, so here's my uh, lambic, my ways. Um, we need to drop an unpack node. After that, we need a transform node. Just so it's not that huge. 0.3 should work. Um, yeah, let's check. Yeah, 0.3 will be good. Uh, now we need VDB from polygons. All right. And voxel size should be 0 0.0, maybe 2. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's a little like blocky here, but uh, it should work. Yeah, it should work. Um, if you want, you can just drop a remesh node um, between transform and VDB from polygons. All right, now. Let's drop a null and call it vase VDB. Alright, now uh, what we also need to do is we need to create a smoke emitter. Alright, let's drop another geo or geo or geo or whatever you call it. Uh, let's call it smoke. Here let's drop a circle. Now let's drop transform node. Um, oh and our circle should be should be polygon. Division should be something like 24. And let's position it. It's it's basically depends on you. Uh, how you want uh, to position your um, circle or like any any kind of an emitter. Um, I would like it to be from from the side, something like here. So we need to rotate. And translate. Just let me, yeah, get where it, where it is. All right.
So uh, something like this should be good. It's facing our ways. Yep. All good. Also, what we need to do is to add a slight rotation, because other way, um, because otherwise, uh, it it will basically make uh, a huge pile of uh, stack particles just uh, on one side of the of the ways. But I want it to be kind of like. Uh, if, if you pay, powder paint something, you should uh, rotate your object so paint is uh, sticking on all the um, sides of, of your object. So here uh, in the ways, uh, in transform node, let's check uh, which axis we need to rotate. Yeah, Y axis. So uh, what I want to do here is just uh, just let's tap dollar f um, divided by five. Uh, so let's check. All right. So yeah, it's it's rotating um, minus five. Uh, sorry, minus dollar sign f divided by five because uh, our camera will be placed here. And I would like to see what's what's going on. Uh, otherwise, the side, the painted side, will just rotate uh, away from from the camera. All right. So uh, it's it's working. All good. All right. Now let's create our smoke simulation. So here, let's let's. Uh, Select the transform node in the smoke emitter and select the smoke node, smoke geometry node. And here in the, in the like tool shelf, uh, let's open PyroFX tab and uh, click on Bill of a Smoke. And uh, it should, yeah, it should create basically all the things we need. Uh, you will see that we have Pyro import and Pyro sim. Uh, for now, we will be working in the Pyro Sim node. So let's let's just quickly check what what we have. Uh, what we need to do is actually hide our ways because it will slow down our viewport. And here, yeah, our smoke. Is working is working good uh, what we we need here uh, let's yeah, let's work with Pyra first so we need closed boundaries we also need to adjust let me just quickly yeah we, we will need our smoke but uh, let me just copy this node Attach it here. And drop another transform node. And here, one three. Point one. No, one. And uh, I want to uh, like bypass this uh, second transform node, but we are rotating our. Um, our VDB because it, it really slows down the viewport. So for now, it will be just this transform node. All right, now we can go into the Pyre Sim, and yeah, everything's things works works great. All right, now I want this uh, Pyro container uh, to be something like like this, so it uh, contains the ways. Uh, we need what, what do we need? We need to do something like this. All right. All 
Also, let's adjust all the all the axes. I think this should work. So uh, let's check. Actually, no. Uh, we we need one more thing. Um, let's actually shape our our pyro. All right. So uh, let's go into the pyro solver. Here. Uh, I think I just changed the buoyancy lift. Uh, we don't need any because we will be using the fan force to drive our simulation. Um, disturbance, don't think that we need that. Actually, we don't need turbulence here because we we will attach turbulence, gas turbulence. Um, you can leave uh, this as default or maybe yeah, just try playing with these settings. What we will need, though, we will need a uh, fan force. And we absolutely don't need gravity. So, with this fan force, we should align it uh, with our emitter. So, place it somewhere here. So, we have this like when you spray something uh, under the pressure or w with pressure. Um, so yeah, we, we are kind of uh, mimicking the pressure. So uh, what we need to do is, first of all, radiating our can, our fan, sorry, or our, the, the cone of our fan. Um, Like this. Yeah, and now we should position it. Yeah, kind of like this. And uh, force per unit area should be, I think it was 100. Max distance 10, fall off 1. All right, let's, let's try. Um, yeah, I think we, we need to increase this to 500 force per unit area. All right, now it's 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 something. Let's try one thousand. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, uh, now let's set up. Let's set up the collision. So what we need to do is to add static object, merge it, and static object should be first input and virus solver should be second input into our merge node. Here in the static object we should, uh, in the sub pass, we should find our ways, VDB, use deforming geometry, use object transform, all good. Now collisions should be volume based collisions. Now here um, in mode it should be volume sample. Here in proxy volume it should be this ways VDB. And now oh uh, uh, yeah and division method should be by size. Now what we need to do is Turn off our ways here, and in our pyrosim, 
check collision guide and now um, try adjusting I think it was this offset surface yeah so you need uh, this surface to become blue so let's try 0 0.4 0 0.1 All right, so the in my case, offset surface should be 0 0.03. Um, yeah, that's that's it here. Use volume collisions um, in collision detection, and uh, yeah, let's let's test. It will be slow because um, yeah, now now I should calculate all these collisions. But uh, yeah. Anyways, let's let's check. So I uh, so I quickly um, ran this simulation, and uh, with this ways, it actually consists of two planes. One is this inside, and one is outside, and between them, that's a hollow space. So uh, with this kind of models, you should really use uh, really small division size in your pyro node. Uh, for now you can see that it's, it is colliding actually, but uh, we see smoke coming through. And uh, the reason why, how, how you could fix that is to use division size for example, now I'm using 0.2 and the sim is already slow, but uh, if you will be caching out your sim, you should use something uh, like 0.05 maybe. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll use 0.05 and uh, let me just cache out this uh, simulation on my hard drive and uh, then we will be using it to drive our particles. To do so, to cache, cache it out, uh, we should just go into pyro import and uh, here we need this import pyro field and here file cache um, dash file cache um, choose your uh, directory and uh, I won't cache all the frames but just for this tutorial, let's cache 150. Oh, sorry, um, delete channels. 150 frames. Uh, file mode, write files, and uh, hit save to disk. All right, so our cache is baked. We can uh, hit this load from disk, and. Uh, it should should work, yeah. Hey, so it's pretty detailed. Basically, the lower the voxel size or point separation size, I don't know how how it's it's written there, but uh, it basically means the amount of details you will have in your smoke. Um, let's just check how uh, frame 150 looks like. Right, I think it, it looks decent. Um, we, yeah. All right, so we, we definitely see that, actually you don't see any, maybe, yeah, maybe here's some weird bit of smoke coming through, but um, yeah, it feels, it feels, feels quite nice. All right, so now let's uh, configure our particles. Let's drop a new geo. We can call it particles. Now here, let's create a popnet. Let's dive inside. And here, we will need a few things. First of all, we want a pop advect by volumes. Let's go back one. For, for a second, 
So here in our uh, pyro import, let's just add a null. So it's uh, looking like more professional. Um, let's call it pyro out or something. Um, here in particles and popnet, pop elevate by volumes, we need a sop. Here, let's drop our out. Oh, actually, you know, we, yeah, we need this out density, I think. Yeah, I think. And here, uh, the version type should be update velocity. And we should be kind of good to go just here in a uh, constant burst rate. Okay, let, let's leave it. Um, let's leave it in default 5000. But now I don't see where our particles will be emitted. So I think here uh, we should use dop objects. Oh, use sub objects. All right, and here in particles, yeah, and uh, in smoke, we need to get our circle. Yeah. All right. But that's it. it it's not transformed. I think. Yeah. Let's go. One. Um, circle out density. It. And that's that's not it. Right, so we need to add a null here. Yeah, let's add a null here. Uh, a meter or with, with one M or two letter M. Um, anyways, um, all right. So now when we go into the particles popnet here, we should add our emitter and here we we need actually pyro import and pyro out and this I, th I think it should be it. so all points all right like this let's try Yeah, it's working. Right, let me cache out. Alright, so we cached a few frames. Um, now, what we need to do is to add our collision geometry. And it's done by placing a node called pop collision, collision detect. Now, here. Uh, here we need to add our ways. Oh, no, not VDB. Here we actually, yeah, we will need to add another one that's not VDB. And we don't need these. Yes, yeah, so we have our VDB from polygons, and uh, we will need to add another null here. So uh, we don't need actually the VDB, we just need our ways. Okay, let's call it ways out. Alright, now here in particles, pop collision detect should be ways out. Um, default particle size could be 0 0.005. Use deforming geometry. All good. Here uh, we need to check accumulate hits group name. I'll explain that later but yeah we should uh, 
do a group. Um, let's call it hit reserve group and move to hit also is important. And here in response, we need to check stop. And this is basically your setup for uh, colliding particles. All right, so this is basically what we want. And uh, you can see here, see those are the particles that stick to our geometry. Um, when I was doing my uh, like research uh, about this uh, technique, I also added a, a static object here. So basically, I've added where it is. Yeah, basically, I added my ways. and combined it into a merge node. Basically the same uh, collisions uh, setup that we used for smoke, but now I see that we don't actually need that because let's quickly enable our ways so we can see. And uh, I think that the pyro smoke, the pyro smoke done a great job. I mean, if we, if we got Oh, actually, you see here just a few particles, and and this is basically because there were a tiny bit of smoke, uh, smoke thingies uh, here. But uh, yeah, other than that, I don't see any any issues. So I don't think that we need this um, the the coll collision uh, not like collision with static objects static collider uh, here because yeah basically all these particles yeah they they are good um, so what we should do right now is I think we need to bake out um, particle sim uh, now here in source first input and there um, we should we should add a few things so, source first input here in the burst, um, what I've done, so, just for the sake of time, because this is a heavy project, at least for my machine, um, there are tons of particles and all these advections and all that stuff, it really slows down, but what I've done, I've typed uh, the simulation frame, SF, um, less than I think it was frame 280 but for this tutorial um, it will be dollar sf um, less than 150 so what it what it is is basically it, it will emit particles until frame 150 and uh, we need that because after like our order painting is done I want these particles to fade out um, also, um, as usual, project file for this project, <laughs> for this project, yeah, for this tutorial is also available, first link in the description, Gumroad, it will be like one or two bucks, so it, it's a great way to support me, and if you want to just have this set up, you can drag and drop uh, your own models, uh, not like this ways, um, yep. Please support me. I'll be super grateful for that. But uh, yeah, right now let's let's continue with what we have. So cons birds bird rate should be around twenty thousand per um, per impulse. All right. Um, I also added a gravity. Um, I'll skip that for now. But basically, what I've done. Uh, here in the gravity I've animated this from being zero so the gravity doesn't influence our uh, advection to minus nine um, right like where the when it stops emitting 
so it stops emitting at 150, so from like 90 to 150 we can slowly add gravity. Alright, uh, now let me just cash out this sim. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how I set it up in uh, Cinema 4D. Because this project, um, I was like trying different materials, and I really enjoyed how still Cinema 4D is. It's super laggy when you just dump two million particles uh, via a lambic file into the viewport, but uh, it's still more convenient to me um, to to work to shade and uh, light and all this stuff uh, in Cinema 4D. So let me just uh, cache cache this one out. All right, so our file cache is done, and we can hit this load from disk and check. Yeah, Ooh, we we have pretty big amount of particles, and, and yeah, they they hit uh, this ways. All right, uh, now let's do the following. Um, actually, we have we have forgot uh, one thing. Um, I think our ways, yeah, our ways is not updated. But yeah, anyways, just enable this uh, transform node. Now I will show you how we could export it because. Uh, we will be exporting three Alembic files. First will be all the particles that didn't hit the ways, because we will be fading out them when the sim is over. Remember, we, we are not emitting any particles after frame 150. After that, we will export the Alembic file of the particle that actually hit the, uh, the ways. And lastly, we will need to export the ways. Uh, I am exporting the, the. I have exported the sequence um, where the ways is rotating. So right now, let's uh, let's create another geo. Let's call it export. So right now, here let's add merge node. Uh, no, actually, object merge. So, our first object merge will be uh, ways out. Let's turn off particles. And uh, object merge should be particles file cache. Now, merge. just to see if everything works yeah I think we are we are really good here yeah that's that's cool so uh, it's up to you uh, how many particles or I mean just just try different uh, values for the particle count for the smoke sim, it's it's always better if you if you check um, other options. But yep, anyways, again, um, there's a uh, project file available for for download. Now we need to add groups. All right, so uh, we need to export this, our flying particles and the particles that that are stuck to our geo. So let's create a few groups. First one will be flying particles, and it will be points stream source first input. Let's duplicate it. And this group will be hit particles. All right. And base group should be hit. Now we should add group combine uh, so we can make, uh, let's say, isolated 
um, isolated group of particles and we can blast it afterwards so um, yeah what we should do here uh, we should create a group called isolated it should be equals to um, group called heat particles and it should be exclusive or or with uh, flying particles hope it, hope it runs correctly and now we can just drop a blast node here let's say we want hit particles delete non selected yeah so we have these only the particles that actually uh, stopped on our geo all right so uh, let's drop our plmbic node here let's say render frame range lead channel 150 and here you just specify your own file path um, we need to add another blast node just copy this blast so now uh, how do we call them flying particles uh, link node All right. Yeah, so those. Oh yeah, you see, and those aren't uh, yellow, so we are not targeting uh, the particles that hit. So uh, yeah. All right, we have two. We have these these two groups, and we can export them. We don't need the smart node, and we have our um, ways. So uh, yeah, now that's all here in Houdini. Um, yeah, let's go open Cinema 4D and let's check how I set that project file um, in Cinema 4D. All right, we are in Cinema 4D. You probably will hear uh, the fan of my laptop going crazy, um, but yeah, it is how it is. Here I have my three alembics. First one is the ways. Um, second one is flying particles, and third one um, those are sticky particles. And here I just set, uh, I just dropped the oct octane scatter. I set the distribution to be based on vertex and surface should be this sticky or fly alembics. And you can see that uh, for the flying particles, I use just one, this kind of gold rough, or actually it's more like a rose gold. But uh, yeah, or copper, copper maybe. Uh, for the sticky particles, I used a combo of uh, specular material, glossy orange material, and that same metal. So, uh, yep, that that's it. Um, I animated camera rates; just it's zooming out a little bit, and yeah, I rendered it out. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, or maybe check out my Instagram. I I post uh, previews for the upcoming tutorials or even courses. I am actually thinking of uh, doing like uh, a full course for uh, let's say Houdini Vellum. So we are uh, checking all the things. Not obviously not all the things, but my most favorites and most used things um, that involve uh, Vellum uh, simulation. So uh, yeah, you might find find this this course available in the upcoming weeks or month. But uh, overall, yeah, that that's it. Uh, hope that you find it uh, helpful, learn something new today, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye.